Now to Colorado and the latest on the deadly shooting at an LGBTQ nightclub. We are learning more about the five people killed as police have officially released their names and pictures. Also, more stories now of heroism emerging from Saturday's shooting. CBS 2's Jessica Moore here now with the latest and how local bar owners here are reacting to the tragedy. Jessica. Well, Christina Maurice, we just saw those photos of the five people killed and police say that number would have been much higher were it not for an Army veteran who took the suspect down within six minutes. Richard Fierro was at Club Q on Saturday night with his daughter and her boyfriend when police say 22-year-old Anderson Lee Aldridge stormed inside and started shooting. I grabbed him by the back of his little armor thing and I pulled him down. This guy's guy trying to wiggle. He's trying to get his, his ammo, his guns. Uh, one of the, the performers uh, walked by or was running by and I told her, kick this guy, kick this guy. And she took her high heel and stuffed it in his face. I tried to save people and I didn't work for five Okay, there's five people that aren't home right now. Fierro's daughter's boyfriend was among those killed. 17 others were shot, some barely escaped. I fell down. He proceeded to shoot me. I got back up. I made it out of the back of the club. I've been shot seven times. As the memorial continues to grow for the victims in Colorado, anxiety is increasing around Hell's Kitchen, considered one of the safest neighborhoods in the country for the LGBTQ community. Their entire lives are changed in an instant because of someone's hate, and it makes me um, really scared for our community. Marty Cummings is a mainstay on the local drag scene. Do you feel safe going to gay bars here in the city? Uh, we have a great community in New York City, and I, d I do feel safe, but you have to look at Verse, which is right behind us, which is an incredible space. Now, three or four times, someone has thrown a brick through the window. Right now, it was a brick, but what? what's next? Just this afternoon, the NYPD announced they arrested a man who confessed to three separate brick-throwing incidents at Verse. He is not charged with a hate crime, as he told investigators the bricks were revenge over a dispute with an employee. Still, bar owners are on high alert. It's a major concern, and it's an ongoing concern that, you know, we as bar owners and the community have um, that this is something that is just like the way, new way of life for us to, you know, protect ourselves because there's a lot of crazies out there. Going into the big holiday weekend, I'm sure you're expecting larger than normal crowds. I mean, are you concerned at all? Um, I mean, we generally do the, you know, normal protocol of searching pretty good. I mean, we might get some additional security uh, just to be watchful what's going on inside the club. And a couple of the other bar owners we spoke with also say they're stepping up security checks. They're even considering increasing the number of bouncers and security guards. Christina Maurice, they're scared. They sure are, Jessica. Thank you. All right. Well, we have continuing coverage of the deadly attack on our website, including more of those interviews with survivors. It's all there for you at CBSNewYork.com.